my friend, my friend, this is a great request. Golden Slippers. This is uh, circa 1930s, I think. Uh, long story short, we're going to be playing in the key of G. G major, A minor, B minor, C major, or the C major, D major, or we could bar and play the cage system of using the C to go up to the D and bar, D major. E minor, same thing if we were to move up and play an E minor here from the idea, D minor, E minor, ta-da! We could also have an F sharp diminished, which looks a lot like a D7, because the D7 is a five dominant chord, or we could just layer our fingers up that makes a pretty stellar chord no matter how you want to play it and then we're going to resolve to the g however this song is like a one four five song g major c major d major we're going to use g major a lot c major and then d to like a d7 the aforementioned that backwards triangle shape utilizing moving the one to the natural seven to the dominant seven it leaves that awesome shape Get to know that one. It's everywhere on this. So when we play this tune, there's going to be a little bit back and forth, in, but the chorus is what starts it off. It has this, oh, them golden slippers, oh, them golden slippers, them golden slippers I was going to wear because they look so neat. Oh, them golden slippers, oh, them golden slippers, golden slippers I was going to wear because I'm walking the golden street. Now, I'm going to go through the uh, progression here for the verse. You can make it your own. It's going to have the G. It's going to have a la 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 goes to D. You can alternate these bass lines too. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. One, five, one in G. One, five, one in C. One, five, one in D to G. Cool little lick. Three, open. One, two, seven. Slide into your third and your one. It's a great way to end any tune. Hope you enjoyed this. If you do, thumbs up, subscribe. Put something cool and classy in the comment section. Keep it clean.